Have you lived your whole life thinking Huntsman's a disappointment, or maybe you just never really bothered to play him because you heard people say he was not so good? Well, we'll see if we can make him uh, pretty badass, right? But first, we gotta talk about him. His passive ability, Waste Not, Want Not, ranged headshots to recover one ammunition. So he basically has conservative shooter built into him, which is pretty nice considering he's a ranged class. This is an easy way for a uh, player to be rewarded for a uh, good aim. Then we have his career skill, Hunter's Prowl. Marcus disappears from sight for six seconds. When he attacks or fires a ranged weapon, he gains boosted range attack damage and shooting his ranged weapon does not consume ammunition. So, a pretty good sounding career skill. Let's see what else he has here. He's also got Poacher's Mark, double effective range for ranged weapons. Basically, his arrows, his bullets can travel twice as far. He has Call Out Weakness, and this is probably one of the better things about him. It's an aura that increases critical strike chance by 5%. So not only does it boost his crit chance, by 5%, it's uh, those around him, pretty close to him, admittedly, uh, by 5%, which is quite nice. Extra crit chance is always good. And then he's got deep pockets. Increases ammunition capacity by 50%. So, with all of those passives out of the way, let's talk about his talents. The weapon of choice today is the Bretonian Longsword. And for that, I highly recommend taking Killing Blows for Temp Health. He also has Staggering for THP, and while the Brett Sword does stagger uh, quite a lot of things, you're kind of reliant on hordes for that. Whereas you can just go for a couple elites with killing blows and you're pretty much there. On his second line, one in the eye is the one we're going to be going for today. This is a bonus of headshot damage by 50% that applies for both melee and range. Which is really nice with the Bretonian Longsword. It's pretty easy to get headshots and uh, his range today we're going to be using... Longbow, and that is a uh, really good uh, headshotting weapon for sure. Since this is a ranged focus build, we're going to be taking enhanced power for extra range damage. This also does boost our stagger and our cleave just slightly um, for melee. This is a boost of 7.5% to your total power level, not 7% as it says here. Don't ask me why, I am not sure. The next line is making it look easy. And this is probably one of the more important talents of this build. After scoring a ranged headshot, Marcus gains a 25% increased critical hit chance. So that's a lot. That is pretty much a lot. All you gotta do is hit a headshot every now and again to keep it up. And on his level 25 line, he has the choice between Thick Hide for damage reduction, Long Shanks for movement speed, and Shot Crafter, which I think is the way to go. This is a ranged focus build, as I mentioned which means we're going to be doing more shooting than normal. Hence, we're going to need ammunition. So, Shot Crafter, killing a special restores 10% ammunition is pretty good. And on his level 30 line here, his ultimates, I do like Conceal Strikes a lot of the time, but we're kind of want to, we want to do uh, like maximum damage, right? As much damage as we possibly can. And that's going to require us to take Head Down to Hidden, which increases the duration of Prowl to 10 seconds. So, this way, you go invisible, you potentially, if you don't attack anything, you have 10 seconds of invisibility, which can be useful if you need to, you know, escape a situation or clutch real quick, pick somebody up. You know, it has its uses that way. Or if you're just trying to do damage, you know, you go invisible, you take that first shot, you reveal, but then you have like, you know, after that first shot, you have like nine, eight seconds um, to do, you know, more damage. You can probably get off like four or five, um, you know, maybe six if you're real quick. Uh, shots during this ult, all for boosted damage, and they don't consume any ammunition. Uh, that's not too bad. This this talent here, this head down and hidden, does kind of justify the ult being as long as it is, because this is a long ult. Ten seconds is pretty long. So, you know, it's pretty good. And definitely going to help us do a crap ton of damage. For the equipment today, as I mentioned, the feature weapon is the Bretonian Longsword. On it, I have Powers Chaos and Block Cost Reduction. Powers Chaos, uh, Chaos enemies have more health, so just kind of for that. Block Cost for some defense. And Opportunist, because Opportunist is a bit of an underrated trait. Not only, it says, increases push strength by 50% when used against an attacking enemy. So not only 
does it work when you actually physically push something, but it works when you're attacking as well. So, and with the Brett Longsword, which has massive stagger, and you're taking enhanced power with it, by the way, um, you're going to be able to, like, stagger pretty much anything out of other attacks. This is pretty good. This is a good way to kind of um, get yourself out of jams, right? And uh, since I tend to push a lot with uh, the Brett Longsword, it, it kind of works in that way, too. I can just kind of uh, keep things away from me, uh, if, you know, because I'm, I'm not taking the damage reduction. So this way, Opportunist is kind of like a little bit of a defensive thing for me. And for the ranged weapon today, I have the Longbow, and on it, I have Powerless Armored, Crit Power, and Hunter. And you might be looking at this, and you might think, Crit Power? Really? Crit Power is kind of not that good, right? And normally, you'd be correct. Yes, Crit Power is normally not very good. But you're forgetting. Huntsman gets lots of crit chance. He's got a 5% on this. We're going to have, you know, 5% on our trinket, so that's 10 right there. 5% from call out weakness is 15. And then 25% from our headshots and whatnot is a cool 40%. You can also run crit chance on here instead of power armor if you really want to. I don't think you need to. Um, but the crit power is definitely going to benefit us when we crit. And of course, Hunter is very important to doing massive amounts of damage with this longbow. Critical hits increases attack power by 25% against targets of the same armor class for a short time. So say you get a crit, um, say you get a nice crit headshot on a Chaos Warrior, right? Um, and he, he, he dies shortly after, but then there's another Chaos Warrior. As long as Hunter is still procced, guess what you're doing 25% more attack power against? That's right, that Chaos Warrior and all Chaos Warriors that you can attack during the time that Hunter is up. It's pretty nice. For the necklace, health, block cost reduction, and bark skin. Again, a little bit of uh, defense here. 60 block cost, I think, is quite nice, um, especially with the longsword. It's just, uh, you know, it works well with the uh, opportunist and uh, its attack patterns and whatnot. Just, it's going to keep you alive. It's going to be nice to have extra health because, well, why not? You don't really need extra stamina. So, might as well. And then Bark Skin for a little bit, bit of uh, damage reduction, since we're not taking Thick Hide. And on the charm, I've got Decanter for uh, maximum damage potential, 20% crit power, and power versus chaos. So, in total, for the damage, for the range damage at least, we're going 10% power versus armored, 10% power versus chaos, 40% extra crit power. Combined with Hunter, it's quite nice. So the reason I'm taking max crit power is because the longbow and like Huntsman is kind of seen as like he requires headshots. He's a high skill, um, rewarding character, right? So this way, you know, with the crit power, you're still going to be able to benefit from his damage if you don't get a headshot. You know, you're, you're going to rely on crits, but even a crit to the body of an enemy or a monster or whatever is still going to do you big damage, right? It's not going to do as much as a headshot, obviously, but with the crit power, you know, it kind of, um, kind of makes it easier for people who can't aim uh, quite as good, you know, as like people have been playing longer. This way, if they get body shots and they crit, they can still do pretty decent damage. And of course, if you get the headshot and you crit, you're going to be doing insane amounts of damage. Absolutely bonkers headshot damage. And then to end it all off, the trinket, I'm just running cooldown and crit chance with shrapnel, because why not do a little extra damage with shrapnel? Um, this is, of course, for Kata, because on Legend you would need curse resistance, and I would recommend losing the cooldown reduction and putting curse resistance on there for Legend. Uh, definitely keep the crit chance if you can, because that's going to help you proc Hunter and do extra damage. That's it for me, guys. This is the Huntsman Big Monster Damage build. If you like it, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, give it a try, you know, it's pretty good. Um, consider subbing to this channel, liking this video, leaving a comment, possibly joining my Discord, which link will be in the description down below. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in my Discord and talking to you in the comment section down below. Have a nice day.